The Earth, 4.7 million years ago, was a place both magnificent and merciless. Across the vast East African savannas, golden grasses swayed under the relentless sun, hiding predators in their rippling waves. Sparse acacia trees stood like watchtowers, their silhouettes breaking the endless horizon. In the distance, blue mountains rose, shrouded in morning haze. The air was dry, heavy with the scent of dust and wild animal musk. This was a world untamed, where life hung on the sharp edge of tooth and claw. Among the countless species struggling for survival roamed a small band of Australopithecus afferens' early human ancestors, it's walking upright but still clinging to the safety of trees when danger approached. They were shorter than modern humans, standing no taller than the chest of a grown man today. Their bodies covered in fine hair to shield them from the sun's burning rays. Their faces jutted forward slightly, with strong jaws built for cracking tough nuts and fibrous plants. Large, watchful eyes constantly scanned their surroundings, for in this world, vigilance meant life. The group, numbering eight, moved carefully through the tall grass in the late afternoon. The leader, a powerful male named Kaler, walked at the front. His broad shoulders and confident gait marked him as the one the others followed. Behind him trailed Ara, a young female cradling her infant against her chest, the baby's small hands gripping her fur tightly. Two adolescent males carried long wooden sticks, their sharpened ends blackened from fire. Crude, but effective weapons that had begun to change how their kind faced danger. They were heading toward the river, a source of water, food, and trouble. The river was life, but it was also a hunting ground for giants, ancient elephants, territorial hippos, and crocodiles. Longer than any man was tall. Kaler knew they would have to approach with care. The wind shifted, bringing with it the metallic temps of blood and the rank smell of predator. Kaler froze, raising one hand in a silent command. The group halted instantly, eyes darting in all directions. A low, rumbling growl drifted across the savanna from a patch of shaded woodland on the far bank of the river. From the shadows emerged a Megantarian, a saber-toothed cat, its muscular body rippling with power. Its shoulders stood level with Kaler's chest, but what drew every eye were its massive curved fangs, each longer than a man's hand. The predator's golden eyes fixed on the group, unblinking, calculating. Hunger burned in its stare. Kaler's mind raced. Running for too long would be useless. Megantarian could outrun them easily in short bursts. Climbing trees might work, but here the nearest climbable tree was far behind them, across open ground. They would have to stand their ground and hope to intimidate the beast. He raised his stick and let out a deep, resonant cry, a sound his kind had perfected to carry far and sound larger than they were. The rest of the group joined him, shouting, stamping their feet and pounding the earth with their sticks. The air erupted with noise, a wall of defiance meant to tell the predator, we will fight for our lives. The cat paused, muscles tensing, ears twitching. This was not the usual reaction of prey, eight. but hunger pressed it forward, each step deliberate, silent despite its size. The group's noise grew louder, more frantic, Ara clutched her infant close, her heart pounding in her chest. In one sudden motion, Kaler lunged forward, jabbing his stick toward the predator's chest. The tip struck fur and muscle, not enough to wound seriously, but enough to startle. The Megantyrian snarled, a deep, vibrating growl that seemed to make the air itself tremble. Its paw lashed out, splintering Kaler's weapon in two. That instant of chaos was all the others needed. The two adolescent males charged from the side, hurling rocks at the cat's head and shoulders. One stone struck its muzzle, the other grazed an ear. The predator recoiled, snapping its head back with a hiss of pain. For a tense heartbeat, no one moved. Then, with a flick of its tail, the Megantarian turned and slipped back into the shadows of the trees, melting away as silently as it had appeared. The group stood panting, their bodies trembling with the release of fear and adrenaline. They had survived. This time, the river lay open to them now. They hurried to fill hollowed gourds with water to gather figs and berries from nearby shrubs. But even as they drank and ate, their eyes kept darting to the tree line. Here, safety was only ever an illusion. Night fell quickly in the savanna, the heat of the day replaced by a cool, whispering wind. A full moon rose, silver light spilling across the grasslands. A small band gathered around a fire, a skill they were only beginning to master.
The flames kept the cold at bay, and more importantly, deterred some predators. From far off came the deep, echoing roar of an ancient lion species and the mournful calls of giant hyenas. Kaler sat nearest the fire, his gaze fixed on the flickering light. He knew tomorrow would bring another fight, for food, for water, for survival. In this raw, unyielding world, there was no future without courage. Only those willing to face the teeth and claws of the wild could live to see another sunrise. And so, under the vast African sky, the battle for survival continued. Not for glory, but simply for the right to exist.